Assalamualaikum and good morning. Today with me the reporter of 505 News. We talk about the usage of flatman, the complication and the way to deal with the problem. As we all know, flatman has been used to direct road users when the construction activities are in progress. These flatmen often being used because they are highly visible in their bright orange vest as they stood up with red and green flag. Last week, I have interviewed one of the road users about their opinion of problem regarding these flatmen. Hi, good morning miss. May I ask you for some opinions about the problem you always face as a road user at the construction zone? Good morning. So I think during the construction zone, uh, the flatman and the robots are required to control the road, the road traffic, right? So I think uh, the signals is confusing owing to the non-standard signal. So we can see that high risk of an accident can occur because the road users are confused uh, whether they must go or they must stop. So I think it's, uh, it's actually a non-standard. Next, let's hear some explanation from the professor of UPM. Thank you to Ms. Hidayatul Aisha for inviting me to give some opinion for this problem. So, my team have found one of the ways to prevent this problem by making portable traffic light by using infrared ray. So, there are three objectives to make sure that this project can be successful. The first one is this project will be developed a long-term and portable road traffic that control the road traffic in construction zone. And the second one is uh, the motion sensor system will be developed in this project, uh, which means in the traffic light system to control the traffic. And the last one is we can reduce the number of accidents that involve fragment in the construction zone. Thank you, Professor. Next, we have the Head of Engineer who is responsible in this project. Based on previous explanation, this project is called Portable Traffic Light Control System. For 15 years of experience working as an engineer, I found that this system is very efficient and useful for the most road users and construction workers. In this project, there are two concepts that we use and we apply on. The first one is the electromagnetic spectrum and the second one is the wavelength equation. For the first one, electromagnetic spectrum, we use infrared ray as a sensor to detect the moving vehicles on the road. And the second one is the wavelength equation which we use wavelength equal to frequency divided by velocity to calculate the wavelength of the infrared ray. And as you can see in front of me, there is this model which indicates how the, this traffic light system works in real life situation. There are one traffic light system in each side of the road and the first the first side it will turn to red, it will turn to red and we stop the car from moving and whenever the condition is safe, it will turn to green and it allows the car to move. To their destination to continue to their destination and for the next side of the traffic light control system for the next side of the lane and the process will be repeated will be repeated until the construction is done and in my opinion i can see that this project is very efficient and provides many advantages to the road users and construction workers in conclusion I would recommend this project to be applied on the road and the system should be applied uh, in most of the road in, the, in this world to ensure that the safety of the road users, passengers and the construction workers. Thank you Mr. Shakir for a long explanation. Then we will hear some points from the head of marketing. The cost to produce one unit of this portable traffic light control system is around 672 ringgit and 60 cents. We plan to sell one unit like 825 ringgit. So we will get the net profit roughly as 150 ringgit. Hence, we plan to sell 3,248 sets to the JKR 
who is responsible for the road construction. Thus, we will get 2,679 ringgit and 60 cents as our return of investment. Thank you, Ms. Iza. As we all know, every action has their own consequences. Therefore, let's hear a few words from Professor and her assistant. Now, we will talk about the advantages of this system. There are two advantages that involve in this system. The first one, the number of the accident that involve flagmen will be reduced because we only use the motion sensor. And the second one is, uh, the road traffic jam will be reduced because uh, the road user not be confused either they need to stop their car or just go through the road. So next, we continue with novelty of invention. So basically, a portable traffic light using infrared technology is invented to assist road traffic control during a construction work. The system operated via a sensor which automatically detects vehicle from both lanes of the road. That's all from 505 News. Thank you for hearing our latest news of invention and innovation from our brightest mind.